Hi, my name is Ikeno Ofo for CNC Labs, and today we're going to do a laser department update. I know I've been gone for a while. You guys are like, where's the Ultra Beam? Where's the CO2 laser? Well, I'm here to give you an update on all things laser at CNC Labs. So we'll just jump right into it. Today we're going to be talking about our CO2 laser updates. We are currently building a version 2 prototype. Honestly, I'm very excited to get this thing up and running because the version 1 is working really well, and the version 2 is just so much better. So. I'll show you where we're at with that. I'll show you where we're at with version one. Just for fun, I've been making a laser proof enclosure for the laser beam and um, long mill. So I actually tested it with a 12 by 12 custom long mill. I'll show you that in the back a bit later. Uh, it's laser proof. It uh, exhausts all the air out and then it filters it through a, a filter. This is perfect because we're actually gonna be taking it to the Hamilton Woodworking Show and as well as the Toronto Woodworking Show. If you're in the area, Hamilton Woodworking Show, uh, November, early November, get your tickets and come check out our booth. And then in January, Toronto Woodworking Show, we will be at both. The Ultra Beam version two prototype will be at both trade shows and we'll be running the long mill and laser because we have this new cool enclosure. So yeah, let's get into the stuff. Let's get moving and then we'll show you where we're at. Okay, so I know you guys have been waiting a long time to see where I'm at with things, and this is where I'm at with things. Do not judge me, okay? This is my laser den. Things will get cleaned up as the design gets finalized. So, but as of right now, I've already tested this design at about 750 millimeters per second. I think about 40,000 millimeters per minute squared for acceleration, I would have to check my notes, but this thing can go super fast. It's a pretty basic design, but I really like it because it, I think it looks really nice. I think it's a cool way to encapsulate the uh, belt drive system to have this cover that you really only see, you see these belt covers with the really high-end CO2 lasers, but just like our alt mill, we have the kind of stainless steel covers, and this is just aluminum ACM uh, kind of covering things up. When this thing is running, when this thing is full of smoke, it's not messing up your linear guy, it's not making it dirty, and it's allowing you to go longer without having to actually clean the stuff and get in here and wipe it down. I really like it and just, I like the way it looks, right? I like the way it kind of frames everything in terms of the axes and it kind of creates this more modular linear system where this is almost looks identical to this. It's just flipped on its side. So what I did was I actually 3D printed these mounts right here to kind of raise it because we want to give it at least three inches of um, Z height movement. So you have about two and a half inches on the Z axis, right? that's driven by the motor. And then you also have at lowest point, you actually have another two and a half, three inches uh, of material height. The base is framed with uh, 30, 30, 30, 60 aluminum, the same extrusion as the actual linear system is made out of. So we have NEMA 17 closed loop stepper motors slash servos hybrid. The same ones that are on your alt mill, but the smaller size, integrated drivers. You'll actually know if your machine crashes, it will pause. It'll almost act kind of like your door alarm. So if you're ever running a CO2 laser and you open the door, there's always a switch that tells you, hey, we stopped the laser because you opened the door, whether it was an accident or whatever, it's always a safety function. Well, we're gonna wire in the closed loop alarms into that same safety function. So even on the Ryuta controller, if anything goes wrong, if it crashes, if it accidentally does something that's not supposed to do and the alarms trigger on the motors, then the Ryuta system will stop, it'll pause and it'll, allow, it'll ask you to either cancel the job or continue if nothing actually went wrong and it was just a false alarm. I'm really excited about that. I think that's really cool. I kind of figured out how I want the entire enclosure to look. We had rough designs and everything, but I think we're actually gonna be using a kind of curved extrusion on the corners in order to build this out into like a more panel-based system so it's easy to access. And you can also remove the base really easily so that you can actually start to tile your big jobs, right? So most people have like a middle slit that allows the material to go through. What I'm actually thinking is having the base drop out, rising this a little bit, allowing you to slide material underneath. This will be up and running for the Hamilton Woodworking work, Show, so we'll have more videos to come. And then we will have our pre-production model by the January Toronto Woodworking Show. And I think we're gonna be ready to take pre-orders just about then. So very exciting stuff. Let's go back down to our little laser prototyping area in the back and we can talk about um, our laser proof enclosure, uh, long mill and all that fun stuff. So welcome to the laser R&D area. Spent some time organizing this place and getting a lot of stuff done. So first things first, our new little enclosure. This is just something that I whipped up to bring to trade shows and stuff like that. And so that people can run laser test files, whether it's me, whether it's Jen, whether it's anybody in the office, they can run laser beam test files without actually 
having to go to a secluded area, wear the glasses, make sure nobody's around and make sure it's properly ventilated. There's a fan, exhaust everything. This is the same acrylic on your air assist that protects from the radiation of the laser beam, the diode itself. So this is actually now fully protected and it's light sealed and it's air sealed as well. So you have the fan, you have fan controls uh, up there, SLB and the magnetic mount is just right in here. So as you can see, door latches on via magnets, foam here that seals everything via airflow. Right here is the custom 12 by 12 long mill that we built just for testing. This is not a real product unless you guys ask for it and be super annoying, then maybe we'll build it and we'll ship some. Sometimes you don't need the entire space, especially for laser drops. Sometimes I just need to uh, a long mill so I can start testing files. Sometimes you guys send us files and we need to test it for customer service or technical support. So this is a great way to quickly test files like that. And we're testing the magnetic mount, which is gonna be going live uh, in the next week. So be ready for that. And it's just that easy to attach and detach it, which is great. I know you guys have been waiting a long time for that. If you guys remember our first uh, development update for the Ultra Beam, the CO2 laser, you remember our version one prototype? Over the months, I have improved upon it and it actually runs pretty well. And we test focus and speed and all that fun stuff. But what I'm really proud of, or what I've really been spending a lot of time in, is finding a way to enclose the electronics in a nice clean way. So far, I've been 3D printing these extrusion designs that allow for this paneling to really easily enclose this. And if you ever dealt with any like enclosures, this is a pretty common design. But what I think is very interesting is I actually use a similar radius that our version two prototype enclosure will actually be enclosed in. So when they sit side by side, it's like older brother, little brother, one that houses all the electronics, one that houses the actual laser itself. Very similar to this setup, but we have a whole new design for this um, that will incorporate these curved edged extrusion, which actually makes it pretty simple to create a light tight and light sealed kind of enclosure box. This is version one, but I'm already at version five of our electronics enclosure. So by the time we release our next update, you will see something a lot better, a lot cleaner. But to me, I think this looks pretty cool. I really like this because essentially I thought of it like designing a computer case because that's essentially all it is. There's a Ryuta laser controller. There's a power supply in there. There's motor drivers. Well, for the new one, there won't be motor drivers, but there's a bunch of wire harnesses uh, that all need to go to different places for all the stuff that goes out here. And you need to have a, an enclosure that is convenient, that can be stored and that can be um, quickly accessed if you have any issues. You know us at CNC Labs, we love accessibility. We love being able to repair and troubleshoot your own machine. So all you need to do is remove these panels. And if any part has an issue, you're able to replace it. We're able to send you a part really quickly. So I kept repairability kind of high on my priorities when designing things. I feel like we could go the injection molding route and everything gets injected molded. And we might do some, a little bit of injection molding, maybe a little bit of extruded plastic, a little bit of extruded aluminum. But when I'm thinking about repairability, you want to be able to remove things and have easy access. So having this one time, this one big panel, being able to be removed, having these side panels that able to be removed, having the front and back panel, you're able to remove it with a couple of screws really does feel good to me. And I kind of was able to add a little bit of that aesthetic design, but also make it super repairable. This is like the next evolution of like, let's say the SLB or the lo original longboard, the SLB enclosure, the XLB EXT enclosure. And now this is like a bigger version of all that with a slight design uh, change. So. I'm very excited. So that pretty much wraps up the entire laser department update, all of the stuff I've been working on. What I'm gonna try to do over the next little bit is give you guys more frequent updates. Um, we have a, a really big change that's coming up, but you're gonna have to stay tuned to get updated on that. You know us, we're always working, we're always building. Uh, I'm very excited to show you what we're doing. So we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.